France's National Front Party may sue Madonna for screening footage of leader Marine Le Pen with a swastika superimposed on her face. It's just terrible. Everyone knows a swastika goes on the left shoulder. Madonna, I just don't know. All right, well, let's see the clip of this horrible thing Madonna did. Until it was all swept away. Horrible, yes, but not what we're talking about. Nick? I'm letting it all hang out while performing in Istanbul with this magic malfunction. <laughs> That's the one. OK, so she showed Le Pen with a swastika on her forehead. Offensive? Eh, yeah, maybe. But so's a 53-year-old woman singing Like a Virgin. And since there's nothing Nazi-esque about the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Le Pen, National Front's lawyers are saying, projecting such an image of Marine Le Pen with a swastika implies that she is a Nazi. No, it doesn't. Charles Manson carved a swastika into his forehead and that didn't make him a Nazi, just the charismatic leader of a radical movement. Plus, you can't assume this was deliberate by Madonna. Accidental Hitler references happen all the time, be it houses or cats or another Madonna concert in 2008. As part of her concert, she compares John McCain to Adolf Hitler. See, she was just doing her old stuff. It's what the fans want. Plus, these broad reductive political statements are actually written into Madonna's contract. At every concert, she requires 20 international phone lines, furniture smelling of lilies, and at some point, she has to call someone a Nazi. So she called Le Pen the Nazi, but earlier Le Pen compared Muslims to Nazis. So maybe we're all Nazis. Like if someone's in your seat at the cinema and you ask them to move, suddenly you're a seat Nazi. And if you're at a restaurant and the chef won't serve red wine with fish, he's a food Nazi. And if I'm in a rally where the Führer says there should be less Jews, and I say, oh, I'm sorry, fewer Jews, suddenly I'm a grammar Nazi. Oh, that makes two minutes. Better get out of here before the TV Nazis cut me off.